Welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. We got another email. No, we got the email. The email. The one and only, and hopefully the last. All right, first to our early Bronco subscribers. Uh, we are very hard at work right now. In fact, right now we're reporting heads and we're reporting intakes. Um, but these are long processes and it takes a while to get these videos out. So hang in there uh, and enjoy the new Bronco content while we get finished with these and start building that 347 stroker here in the next few weeks. Now, on to the new Bronco. So you guys have watched our earlier videos and if you haven't, take a look at those. Uh, but we got email after email after email, moving our Bronco forward, moving it back, moving it forward, moving it back. Finally, they're saying, well, we won't know until October. So now it's October and then right. we got an email that says that it was built. So we didn't even actually get a build date. Yesterday. Yeah, we, we didn't get a final. Yeah, we didn't get a final. We didn't get a final build date. So yesterday, uh, we got a, an email that says it was built. So all of a sudden now, it's done and ready to go. Likely, it was built back in September, like they said it was going to be, and then it just sat around waiting for a hardtop. But in any case, uh, it, it was built. So we went to our dealer yesterday, and uh, we started talking about, you know, what, what are the final. What's the final process? How long does it take once it gets here? Our dealer said that uh, the last Bronco shipment that they got received about two weeks earlier than the date that it was supposed to. So right. with ours being delivered between October 28th and November 3rd, uh, they're thinking that we're gonna receive it earlier than that. So that was exciting to know that it would probably be here earlier and that got us thinking, we've been planning this entire time, kind of what we're gonna do to purchase this Bronco because it's the, only new vehicle we have purchased together being married, uh, which has been a years. long time. <laughs> so we were kind of new to this. And at this point, things are now compressing because we want to take the Bronco as soon as possible. So we talked to uh, Ford about the employee satisfaction fund and kind of what we're going to get out of that because we know that it said the dealers can use up to $1,000. Uh, and with us having a first edition, a late first edition. I, I wasn't expecting anything, honestly. I think they're basically going to say, uh, "Take it or leave it." Yeah, take it or leave it. If you don't want your first edition, let us know, and we'll take we'll it off your it. hand. So, uh, you know, we're kind of at our dealer's mercy, and we'll go into the amount that they're going to give us when we actually get the Bronco, um, because I I don't know if it's going to change or not, but I'd hate to say now and then find out that it changed. So. We'll get into that later. Plus, I also found out some interesting things about other people getting the full amount or not getting any at all. So we want to talk about that in depth. The other thing is that are we going to trade in the Raptor or are we not going to trade in the Raptor? We have a 2013 Race Red Raptor that is our pride and joy. And uh, everybody loves it. It's a great truck. Uh, we enjoy We fight over who's going to be driving it that day. We are thinking about trading it in. And, and the reason why is because A, we've already got eight cars and probably 12 or so motorcycles. And uh, having another one is not probably in the mix. And uh, we, our biggest payment is actually on the Raptor. So it makes sense to trade it in. We just don't want to. So we're trying to negotiate with each other how we're gonna do this. But we did take our Raptor uh, yesterday to get a value on it and we were actually surprised uh, at what we found and so we'll go into that in a later video. Now that said this morning we just got another email. And it says it's shipped. So yesterday it was built, today it was shipped. <laughs> yeah and at this point uh, I don't think it's going to take two weeks or three weeks to get yeah. it here once it's shipped. So our dealer may be correct we may actually get this next possibly week. even next week. I don't know that would be great. Uh, there would be a lot of fun had at that point because trails are still open and we promised that when we got this vehicle we are going to go directly across the front range and start beating the snot out of it as much as we can uh, so that you guys can see this in action and we can go through everything and we can tell you what we like and don't like about it and uh, which I'm sure we're we going to like everything. So. Uh, but in that case, if there is something that doesn't work out, we'll definitely let you guys know. So if you haven't already, subscribe, and uh, we're going to have a blistering amount of content going forward uh, because there's a lot of things happening with the old Broncos now. Our machine shop just called, and they're almost done with the 347 rotating kit. Uh, so finally, 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 we can start putting that together. Uh, the uh, heads and intake are almost ported. 
So uh, with the transmission being done and the Dana 20 being done and the engine being done now here pretty soon, we can get that all into the chassis uh, and we can start getting this thing wired up and get it running here as soon as we possibly can. But then we'll have the new Bronco to use while we are waiting on this. Not to mention there's a whole other side of content that's coming that we've been working on for well over a year and we've just been holding that content. So there is a huge amount coming. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're going to be throwing up everything that we have and you guys are hopefully going to enjoy it. That's a wrap for my point through garage. And if you want to catch up to all the videos that we've done on the new Bronco and kind of how we got to where we're at now, playlist is right here. Click on that playlist. That's our new 2021 first edition Bronco playlist. So when we take delivery, hopefully next week, you will be on board for everything that we're doing.